Weighing in at 220 pounds, he's in with the out crowd, Leary. His opponent, from the Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Plant, weighing in at one megaton, Kirby Wackerman. Limitless Wrestling fans, welcome back down the road for episode 16 here on IWTV. We've got both ends of the spectrum in this singles encounter as Kirby Wackerman walking into tonight winless in season three, going one on one with the head of the hive, Leary, who's wasting no time, jumping Kirby in the corner and reigning in the forearms. This dude has championship aspirations and really believes a third straight victory in singles competition tonight will do the trick. We'll get him to Daniel Garcia and we'll get him on the map for a championship opportunity. And you could just feel the confidence radiating off this dude tonight who's got to take some pleasure in the pain of Kirby Wackerman. We remember back to season two here on the road when it was the Hive versus the entire Limitless Wrestling roster. Kirby Wackerman was one of the first thorns in the side of the Hive, defeating King Crab, causing a bit of dissension in the ranks of the Hive. Leary into the cover after some knees, only a two count. And on the flip side of that, you gotta believe Kirby Wackerman looking for a big victory here tonight against someone who's done him wrong. And speaking of wrong, that's the wrong strategy to use on Kirby. Changing it up and poking him in the eyes. Referee Eric Greenleaf admonishing Leary, who connects with a vicious clothesline. Folks around ringside certainly not impressed with the head of the hive Leary here tonight. Drops the leg across the throat of Kirby Wackerman. It could be a short night at the office for Grandma Wackerman's favorite. Another leg drop from Leary. Looking to end this thing quickly. Just barely able to kick out right there. And Leary, wasting no time, wasting no movements, immediately locking Kirby in the submission hold. And he's far away from the bottom ropes. Now using his fingers, digging in the eyes and mouth of Kirby. And that's gonna come back to bite him. Kirby able to roll him backwards, only a two count though from referee Eric Greenlee. Able to evade Leary in the corner. Charging in, set over the top, but finding his footing on the apron. Oh man, what connection on the knee right there from Leary. A little stunner tangled up in the ropes. Two knees driven into Kirby. And now Leary pumping the kicks from the canvas. Kirby Wackerman out on his feet, just being held up with the ring ropes at this point, and he's torn back in. Leary back in the driver's seat here, our opening contest on episode 16, into the cover he goes. Only a two count though from Eric Greenlee. Still some life left in Kirby. We've seen him have some battles here on the road. Thinking back to this season, Logan Black a few weeks ago, Zachary Pierre Bowyer, but this dude just can't seem to find victory. Can't seem to capitalize on the crucial moments at the end of a match. We'll see if he can weather the storm of the head of the hive here tonight. Fighting back. Look for the headbutt, but he got caught. Leary drives a knee into his skull, and Kirby fires back. Torpedo headbutt, cleaning Leary off his feet, and both wrestlers down on the canvas. Referee Eric Greenleaf implementing the count. That was the major opening Kirby Wackerman needed. Something big to take down Leary and regain some energy for a moment. He's got to act quick, though. Leary already stirring, using the ropes to pull himself back to a vertical base. But Kirby sees where he's at. And that's a bad landing for Leary. Got ambitious, tried to charge right there. Speaking of bad landings, there's another one. Atomic drop from Kirby Wackerman. Big time scoop and a slam. Oh, look for the headbutt, but Leary had his wits about him enough to roll away. He had that scouted from Kirby Wackerman, and now Leary with some space finally from Wackerman, out on the floor and able to recover. Maybe not for long. Kirby fires a 
himself off the ring in a lyric. Using his head as a weapon, Kirby Wackerman, the human torpedo, just launched at Leary and taking him down on the floor. If you stop the queen, the hive dies. Kirby with Leary in hand and back inside the ring. He's looking to win this thing. But only a two count there from referee Eric Greenlee. Maybe wasting a little too much time out on the floor was Kirby Wackerman, but he's already back to his feet. Cocked and loaded, ready to strike here at Leary. Oh, come on, he got him again. Leary with the eye poke. Drilled him off the knee right there. Kirby flat on the canvas. Only two. But a super kick connecting. Kirby kicks out. Leary can't believe it. Kirby Wackerman able to get the shoulder up here. And Leary's pissed. Back to the drawing board for the head of the hot. Beating Kirby at the ropes. Reversing the whip though. But right into the boot from Leary. Charging again and he caught him. Onto the knee. Into the flatliner. What a combination there from Kirby. And he's pointing to the heavens. Kirby Wackerman may be looking to fly right here. Out to the apron he goes. and Kirby Wackerman takes him down. Oh, would you look at the back of the room. Travis Huckabee, King Crab, the hive is here for Leary. And they just slid him a kendo stick. Headbutt from Kirby. He's fighting back. And there's one for Travis. Oh, no, Kirby. Don't turn around. Kendo stick to the stomach. Jeremy Leary swings him down to the canvas, right on the back of his head. Directing traffic ringside to the high, saying go get the referee as King Crab rushing to Eric Greenleaf on the floor. Huckabee tossing him back in. Oh, this is just disgusting. Not like this. Can Jeremy Leary. You can see the emotion washed across his face. Absolute disgust. And now it's back to the drawing board once again. The referee is coherent and back in the ring now. The Hive can't get involved. Leary looking to hook him up for a package pile drive. Looking to spike him on his head. Kirby connecting with a headbutt though. Make it two. Here comes Kirby. Rapid fire. Ducks the clothesline. Sends him away. Oh, Leary caught him once again. A flatliner of his own. Dropping Kirby Wackerman. Uh-oh. Full of Look for the running knee. Kirby passed him by. Pop-up headbutt. Right to the sternum of Leary. Pump handle slam. Kirby's going to take this thing. Out to the apron once again. Oh, wait a second. Just throw him out of here, Rick. Here comes King Crab. Kirby able to block the kendo stick. He's got a grip on that thing now. Into the post! Over the head of Leary! Kirby swung for the fences! Headbutt from the top! One, two, he got it! The hive is coming absolutely unglued ringside, but Kirby 
Kirby Wackerman has just secured his first victory here on season three.